My name is Melissa Dodge. I'm a teacher of French and English at the Ellis School, which is an all-girls independent pre-K through 12 school in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. I got involved in the Library for the Blind about two and a half years ago. It was shortly after the death of my father, who had been very involved in recording for the blind, and I read of an opportunity for um, narrating at the Library for the Blind Physically Handicapped, made a call and was invited to audition, and um, my work started at that point. I had always admired my father's work um, as a narrator for the blind uh, program that he did in New Jersey, and um, it, it does mean a lot to me to be carrying on that work that he did. I think that's an important legacy for me to have. About a year and a half ago, um, the Library for the Blind um, invited me to help coordinate a partnership between the Library for the Blind and the Ellis School. Um, I was delighted um, to be able to be involved in uh, that work. I think that the partnership has benefited both the Library for the Blind and Ellis um, in significant ways. Hi, I'm Zenny Malik. I'm a senior this year at the Ellis School, and I've been working on the Library for the Blind and Physically Handicapped narrating project for two years, and this year I'm the program coordinator. Hi, I'm Sage Lincoln. I'm also a senior at Ellis, and last year I recorded two books for the Library for the Blind. So the process of recording, there'll be a narrator and a monitor. The monitor makes sure that everything the narrator says is exactly as it is in the book, so every single word has to be correct, and if there's a problem, the monitor just taps the narrator on the shoulder and the narrator will repeat the line. So that's basically the general process. One thing that's been really exciting about this partnership beyond the community service aspect um, is using state-of-the-art technology here at Ellis. We record all of the books here at Ellis and we have everything recorded onto a digital file that we send to the library via the cloud. And then those recordings um, are edited at the library. So the fact that we can do all of this so efficiently but also so well is frankly mind-boggling but also very exciting uh, to the students. Once we were done recording, um, we went to the Library for the Blind, and that made the project a lot more real to me. I got to see people checking out the books, I got to see the editing process, and I really realized how this is many people's only way to listen to these books. So that was great. I recently talked to the facilitator for the Ellis School, Mark Seishan, and he told me that my book has been circulating, and I couldn't believe it. People all across the country have been listening to my book that I recorded right here in school. So that was mind-blowing to me. I couldn't believe that people were actually checking it out and listening to it. So the fact that I can reach so many people that I don't even know really astounds me. When I was younger I had a severe speech impediment and I've mo worked out most of those issues but I still somehow can't say the word help. I always add an M and say help. And so lo and behold in one of the books I recorded there was that word so we had to really go through it time and time again pronouncing it help and I had to do all these stars um, just to make sure I could do it right so that was interesting. One fun aspect of this partnership is the selection of books. Um, our students love to read and they also love to perform so those who are attracted to this partnership tend to be uh, kids who have pretty good skills as public speakers. All of the books we do are somehow related to Pennsylvania and one of the books I recorded um, was A Night Before Christmas Dutch Pennsylvania styled. So I had to learn a lot of Dutch Pennsylvania words um, and learn the accents. There was a whole vocabulary at the end of the book. All the W's turned into V, so I had to say a lot of vuts and vittles and it was quite an experience and I had to work really hard to learn all the words. I think it's great that the books are related to Pennsylvania. I've been even working as a monitor and a narrator, I've learned things about Pittsburgh that I never even knew. So it's been a really interesting experience for me just as a reader, and I'm glad that we get to share the knowledge with the rest of the community as well. Yeah. It makes the project more personal, I think, and also what we're reading about Pennsylvania is nationally available, so it also helps Pennsylvania, which I like. What's been really exciting about this partnership is the way in which it has grown. We began with just one narrator and me serving as the monitor uh, to that narrator. Now um, we can have simultaneous recordings. We actually have two sets of uh, recording equipment, so we can have two narrators and two monitors working uh, during the same time slot. 
Um, what we envision actually for next year is getting a third set of recording equipment so that we can, um, again, you know, sort of triple the um, amount of uh, recordings that we can do during the same uh, period. I think this kind of service project is really great because it's wonderful that we're helping other people, but we're also developing great skills for ourselves in life, like learning to read properly and great speaking skills, mm -hmm. working with this technology. So you're really helping a lot of different people, yourself included. So I think that the experiences I've had here, I can definitely take with me as I move forward and go to college. Mm -hmm. Getting involved in this partnership with the Library for the Blind has not only been very exciting for me and for my students, but also for our school. Um, we value these partnerships in the community. It's so important to have the classroom go beyond the beyond walls.